Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Still Skavasas here, I'm Anthony. I'm Casey. And today we're watching episode 29 of Death Note. Last episode, Sayu was kidnapped and then she was rescued mm. by her father. Um, Light almost killed her. Yeah, and he gave up the Death Note yeah. very reluctantly. Uh, you know, I feel conflicted about this whole scenario that Light is in right now. It just feels like the characters that he's up against right now and Nier and Mello... It just seems like they came out of the blue. And, like, I feel like I was kind of, like, leaning towards, like, L, like, in the battle versus L versus Light. But then now that L's gone, like, I want Light to win because yeah. he was, like, the guy we started with. But, like, now that we just have these other two, so I'm kind of hoping that Light wins. I just don't want him to be taken out by two characters that were introduced, like, near the end of the season. Yeah. So now Nier and Light are going to be working together. Um, I wonder what the plan is next. Obviously, mm -hmm. Nier said uh, it was Mello, someone by the name of Mello. Yeah. So I wonder what Light's going to do. Like, he has that clue. How is he going to go from there now? All right. Well, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can stay notified for all of our future videos. Also, head over to our Patreon where we have full-length reactions as well as other exclusive content. The link's down in the description below. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into this episode. Mm -hmm. Is he going to go get it? Hi, real <gasps> Oh! The corn! <sighs> hey! The apple? Quit following me! I want my no bark. <laughs> Damn! I have no idea where it is. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? If you want it back, you're gonna have to look for it yourself. <laughs> Moron. <laughs> Whammy's house isn't exactly a normal orphanage. It's like a school for gifted children. Its real purpose is to groom these kids so that one of them could become the next L. L mm. successor? Apparently, the one most likely to succeed L is this kid named Nier. Nier? Mm. Is that N? He has to be N. He's the one commanding the SPK. <laughs> oh. As for Mello, he would have wanted to become L's successor, but he probably lost out to Nier. I just don't want him to lose now. <laughs> these are sketches of both of them. Oh. Misa, look at these. <laughs> it looks like I'm still fighting L after all. Oh this my gosh. I already had Misa check a list of known mafia <laughs> syndicates using her Shinigami eyes. He's got the notebook. After that, it was a simple matter of using the death note to make Snyder send a letter to me with the location of the gang's hideout. I guess this means I was helpful to you again, doesn't it? Have they seen him? Yeah. <gasps> I love you. Misa. <laughs> Can they? <laughs> oh. Maybe they can't see him. Yeah, but he got the address. Yeah. So he has a but he's just doing a little investigating. <laughs> <laughs> I like the music too. It sounds like yeah. an investigator. They're gonna have to be able to see me before I can even talk to them. <laughs> what a drag. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Snyder's the owner right now. Guess I'll have to make him touch the notebook first. Oh well. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Tag. <laughs> Boss, who is this? The guy in the freaky costume. Who the hell is he? Who brought him here? I came here on my own. I'm actually a Shinigami. <laughs> He says you can see him if you touch the notebook. Uh, please, everyone, touch it. I swear <sighs> I'm not crazy. So why can't Mello? Didn't he just have? Yeah. Maybe it has to touch the owner first and then. Touch the I notebook. Don't really know. Maybe we missed that hint in the middle of the episode. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm shooting each other. I know. Other. <laughs> it's like Pulp Fiction. <laughs> nice try. You humans can't kill a Shinigami. Ryuk, as of now, I'm going to forfeit ownership of this notebook. All I ask is that you agree to follow whichever mm. person I give it to. What? You're giving up ownership again? But wait, <laughs> won't you lose all your memories if you do that? Misa, lend me your notebook. Hmm. I'll keep it on me like this. That way, even if I forfeit ownership of my notebook, uh... I won't lose my memory. I'll explain everything to you right now. I won't forgive any mistakes. <laughs> Chocolate is so good. <laughs> If the person using the oh. note fails to consecutively write names oh. of people to be killed <gasps> yeah. within 13 days of each other, then the user will die. Are you saying those two rules are made up? Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, those rules are definitely fake. My guess is some Shinigami wrote those down as a joke before giving the notebook to a human. <laughs> was this the notebook that was used by Kira? Ah. And if so, was he aware that these two rules were false? If he did know, he could have used these rules to his advantage. It'll be very convenient for us that you can't be seen by humans. 
Go outside and keep watch. Got it? What's with this guy? He's human, but he's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Yagami speaking. This is Kira. What did he say? Kira? Can you prove that you are the real Kira? It's Mello. Or is it Misa? The notebook I've sent you gives me the power to know a person's name by seeing only their face. And you will be able to gain that same power. Do you understand? Please stay calm and listen mm. carefully. On November 10th, at exactly 11.59 p.m., arrangements have been made so that all known associates of the Mafia will die. <laughs> Whoa. It's already been written in my notebook, so it's impossible for me to make any changes. That moment is your best and only chance to get the notebook back. It's up to you. If the Mafia members are going to die on the day Kira specified, it would be a chance to get the notebook back. I don't like the idea of following Kira's plan, but it's our best option. I think we both know what needs to be done. We get the Shinigami to follow us in, and then we do the deal for the eyes and make sure they're all dead. Whoa. I will make the deal for the eyes. <gasps> Whoa. No way, Chief! Let me be the one to do it! <laughs> I was responsible for handing over the notebook in the first place. Since that moment, I've been unable to live with what I've done. I'll use the notebook to kill any criminals who try to stop us. And then, after 13 days, I'll die as well. Oh my gosh. If Dad writes a name in the notebook, then when the time comes... It's gonna kill Oh my gosh, like in 13 days to like keep up the charade. Yeah. Is everybody ready to move in? Roger. Deputy Director, make the ideal with the Shinigami. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Luke, I'm ready. Sure thing, boss. This isn't crazy. I never thought his dad would have it. O-M-G. <laughs> Everyone, move in! Hush, what? He can't be there, I bet, right? Is oh, it? maybe not. Kira's involved after all. I didn't think you'd go this far. My plan was supposed to be perfect. Damn, what the hell is Sido doing? Relax, oh. Sido. Just shut up and watch, all right? All you have to do is sit here and do nothing. If you can do that, you'll get your notebook back. <laughs> you can't <laughs> L, we've apprehended two of the criminals. We've also been able to secure the notebook. We'll begin with drawing now. Not yet. Keep going. Huh? What? We've come this far. Let's finish this. Do a thorough search. Kind of nervous. Um. <gasps> what was that? I've already blown know, up the two there. entrances to this place. Okay. The next explosion will take out the entire building as well as all your men inside. It's mellow. Yagami again, huh? He's gonna see his name. Maybe I should have killed you when I had the chance. M I H A E L K E E H L. Your real name. It's Mihail Kale. What the hell? How did he? I did it. It's <gasps> over, Mello. It's time to turn yourself in. If you give up, I won't kill you. You have my word on that. What are you doing? Don't be stupid. Write his name down and kill him now! Uh. <gasps> Yagami. Don't move! <gasps> I've written your first name, and it will only take me a second to write your surname. <sighs> you idiot! Just write it! Kill him! You've never killed someone before, have you? A vest? He's wearing a vest, though. This guy, he, he won't let go of the thing! Son of a fist! It's all over, Mello! Put your hands up and surrender! Oh my god! Matsu, are you alright? No. I don't think so. I'm sure you'll live. Mel, I don't see any sign of Mello. <sighs> Damn it. After all that, he got away? That's why you should have just killed him. I really thought the explosion was yeah. going to kill them Come all. Come on. Please, Dad. You can't die on me like this. His acting. I know. <laughs> Light. Yeah, Dad. 
Isn't he not going to be able to see his lifespan? According to that Shinigami Uryuk, I can't see the lifespan of someone who owns a notebook. <gasps> but I can see the numbers above your head. Oh, because he gave it Oh. You really aren't Kira. That's Aww. why he did that. I'm so glad. <laughs> My oh son. Gosh. Don't tell me you're still worried about that, Chief. Uh, of course he's not Kira. I feel so bad for his dad. He's been manipulated. <laughs> That's important, but I've got bigger things to deal with right now. Oh I've got to get him to write Mello's name in the notebook. I, I couldn't bring myself to kill him. I can't just come out and say it's not too late. No one will think it's weird if I get upset and panic. Come on. Dad, write his name. You can't let him beat you like this. Write his name down. With your last bit of strength, do you want to die in vain? D Dad, no! <gasps> oh my gosh, no! I'm sorry for your loss. Dad, he was one of my favorites. Yeah, things really started going downhill after L died. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's not even gonna care. <sighs> You're the Shinigami who came here to take back this notebook, aren't you? Yes. Wasn't that his original one? <laughs> Crazy. Humans who use the notebook are cursed with fear, pain, and misery. Hmm. Of course, Suichiro didn't use the notebook. He got to die believing that his son wasn't Kira. I guess that means he was happy. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> I'm conflicted about that, but at least... If there was any way to go out, he went out peacefully. Yeah. Even That's... though it was a lie. I'm kind of shocked that they all didn't blow up in the explosion. Am I like, yeah. so I'm still thinking of well, like, he said he was, that... he was blowing up the entrances. But then so... he did it again. Yeah, but I think that was on the last entrance, right? Oh, okay, maybe. Yeah. So I feel like they were a little bit away from the blast, yeah. but, um, damn, I just can't believe we lost his dad. Like that. Just like, like that. And, like, I didn't ever envision him getting, like, the Shinigami eyes, too. And I that know. was just, like, a whole interesting, like, story arc here. Uh, the plan was for him to go and kill mm -hmm. uh, Mello, right? Yeah. Write his name down. That was the plan. And then, like, from what I was reading from the way Light was acting was that he was going to kill his dad, like, within, yeah. like, 13 days because yeah. he wasn't going to use the book again, obviously. Yeah. Um, so, either way... <laughs> I mean, I guess this way he got to go out peacefully and not... I mean, I don't think that Light would have done it so that he his, he would have thought that, you know, his yeah. son killed him. But, damn. I don't wow. know. Like, this story arc is interesting to me. And, like, it kind of bothers me a little bit. I feel like we're losing, like, so many characters that we like. And, like, I know sometimes that could happen in a storyline. But I just feel like... I, it almost feels like this is all a sequel. Mm -hmm. Or, like, and it wasn't part of, like, the original story. I don't know if I'm... Uh, am I the only one that gets that vibe? Like, you tell us in the comments. Yeah, I get that. I do like the characters of Nier and Mello um, as characters. I'm not a good fan. I'm not a big fan of Mello. <laughs> <laughs> I like Mello and I like Nier, but I will say I just... I feel like I don't know them all. Yeah. So, you know, like, they're interesting characters, um, but I don't feel like I know them well, and I feel like it's kind of, like, all thrown in real fast, you know? Mm. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm still giving it a chance. I'm open-minded. It's not like it's bad or anything. It's still an entertaining yeah. story, but it doesn't feel like the original story anymore. Yeah, I'm just, like, so conflicted because, like I said at the beginning of this episode, I didn't know who I wanted to win this battle of wits between Elle and Light, and then I was kind of leaning towards Elle, and then obviously we lost Elle, so I was like, okay, well, where's the story going to go from yeah. here? And obviously now it's Elle's successors. Um, and it seems like, you know, it's the battle, it's the competition against each other to catch Kira, which, you know, L couldn't do. And I don't want him to lose, but even though he's an asshole and he pretty much just got his dad killed and he's done all these things, I just like, since we started with him, I just don't want to see him lose to like <laughs> these two characters that we've barely met. Like maybe they are, we are going to see a little bit more about them and get a little bit more backstory. Maybe see a little bit more how they were connected to L. Maybe they had some sort of relationship with L. Mm -hmm. Um, like I feel like maybe that could open me up to them a little bit i'm i kind of like near even though in small doses we've got him but mellow just rubs me the wrong way a little <laughs> bit like i feel like he has like the worst characteristics of light and l all right well if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can stay notified for all of our future videos also head over to our patreon where we have full-length reactions as well as other exclusive content links down in the description below okay we'll see you next time bye everyone